Interference and diffraction. This classic double slit experiment considers a planar and periodic oscillating wave, which hits and passes two narrow slits. Assuming the slits are narrow enough, the passing waves will bend and cause an interference pattern, while diffraction will attenuate the resulting off axis amplitude. The tutorial can also be run by selecting model examples and tutorials, classic PDE, interference and diffraction from the file menu, and followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions in the user's guide. To start a new model click the New Model Toolbar button, or select New Model from the file menu. Select the Custom Equation Physics mode from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Enter A into the dependent variable names edit field. This will represent the amplitude of the wave. Press OK to finish the Physics mode selection. Geometry mode The geometry consists of two small rectangles, representing the slits, connected to a half-circle domain. First create a circle centered at the origin, with radius 0.8. Select circle from the geometry menu. Enter 0.8 into the radius edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Then create and subtract a rectangle from the lower half of the circle. Select C1 and R1 in the Geometry Object Selection list box. Press the Subtract Geometry Objects Toolbar button. Create another rectangle spanning minus 0.06 to minus 0.1 in the x direction, and minus 0.2 to 0 in the y direction. Create the last rectangle, spanning 0.06 to 0.1 in the x direction, and minus 0.2 to 0 in the y direction. Select CS1, R2, and R3 in the Geometry Object Selection list box. Press the Join Geometry Objects Toolbar button.
Grid mode. Switch to grid mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Enter 0.015 into the grid size edit field. Press the generate button to call the grid generation algorithm. Equation mode. Switch to equation mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the edit button. Enter the Helmholtz equation into the equation for a edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Press OK to finish the equation and subdomain settings specification. Press the Constants toolbar button, or select the corresponding entry from the equation menu, and add the following modeling constants for the wavelength WL, and wave number K in the Model Constants and Expressions dialog box. Boundary mode. Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. First set zero flux homogeneous Newman conditions for all the boundaries. Select all boundaries in the boundaries list box. Then select the Newman, GA, radio button, and enter zero into the coefficient edit field. An incoming planar wave is present at the inlet, which can be implemented as a Newman flux type boundary condition. Select 3 and 7 in the boundaries list box, and enter the complex expression into the coefficient edit field. The outlet is assumed non-reflective. Select 10 and 11 in the boundaries list box. Enter minus k times i times a into the Dirichlet Newman coefficient edit field.
Press OK to finish the boundary condition specification. Solve mode. Switch to solve mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. Press the toolbar button with an equals to sign to call the solver. Post processing mode. After the problem has been solved FEA tool will automatically switch to post-processing mode, and display the computed wave amplitude, A. The interference pattern can clearly be seen, as the four lines where the waves have been completely cancelled out. The point line evaluation tool can be used to visualize the interference and diffraction pattern at the boundary. Select point line evaluation from the post menu. Select 10 and 11 in the boundaries list box. Press apply or OK to finish and plot the amplitude curve. The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file, exported as a MATLAB M script file, or a GUI playback file.